we're starting with creating two table spaces, uh, which is required for Siebel on Oracle. And we have a script here that creates two well, table spaces. Uh, we use it, we run it using SQL plus as the system DBA on our empty, freshly installed Oracle database. We have Siebel DB underscore data and Siebel DB underscore index. Okay, so that's step one. And step two to prepare database is to run the Oracle provided grant user SQL, which you find in the DB server Oracle folder, grant user SQL. Uh, you can inspect it, but don't mess with it much. Uh, you simply run it from SQL plus. So that is all we, we need, just need to know the location. And in SQL plus type at and enter the path to grant usr.sql that runs the script and prompts you for the table owner name, which is Siebel uppercase, then the password for the table owner. Make sure you note that down. We use, I use welcome one here. Uh, the default table space, we use the Siebel db underscore data. So the data table space, so to speak. Then there's the temporary table space and followed by entering the passwords for sadmin, for the LDAP user, so it creates these users for the guest CST and guest ERM user. So the standard users that every Siebel database has. Script runs successfully. So the database is ready in principle. I have a few more uh, scripts I run to set the open cursors to 5,000, set the quota to unlimited for sadmin and Siebel, and also delete or change, yeah, delete the password verify function so sadmin password never changes. And being a sandbox environment, I don't want any of these auto tasks in 19C, so I disable several automatic tasks such as the SQL tuning advisor. This is definitely not a good idea on production grade systems, but here on the sandbox, I'm happy if the database just does what it should do and not run any automated task. Now we run the database configuration wizard, uh, choosing install database, uh, all defaults up to here. Yes, I wish to install a new database. Grant user has been run. And we enter the Oracle connect string, which is ORCL on this system. Table owner is OK. It's a Unicode database. And the base language is English American, primary language. And we have the database username, which is sadmin, uppercase. And the password we just specified when running grant user. Table owner is Siebel. Password for the table owner. Keep that default. And now we specify the two table spaces, starting with the index table space name and the data table space name. Might have different values here, so be careful and keeping the defaults all to the end. So it runs the Siebel upgrade wizard once we click next in the final screen. So here it is, ready to go. So this little fellow will take care of running all the scripts to, well, pump all the tables and data into the, well, still empty Siebel database that we have created and it will be a Siebel 22.x database at the end of the process. So we stay here for just a few more moments to watch it starting up correctly. The first step at least, which is uh, creating tables and indexes. Takes a few moments and it's off to a good start. This is a good indicator that we entered everything correctly in the wizard. 
So now let, let it do its job. its job. It will run as long as it takes, fingers crossed. And here it is finished. We have been speeding this up, of course. So the database wizard, we can now exit. And uh, just a little tip when you run anything with the upgrade wizard, you can run another utility you find in the seep server bin called logparse. So logparse takes a few arguments. Uh, slash s is the Siebel root. So Siebel slash mde in our case. Uh, slash g is the language, enu. And r is the process. And install is the name of a folder now in the log folder. So it parses these logs and creates an HTML file. You can do this with any output of the Siebel upgrade wizard. It can be quite helpful for your documentation, so keep those output HTML files somewhere safe. Thanks for watching, take care, and bye bye. Hi, it's Richard. And I'm Alex. Welcome to the Siebel Hub Learning Experience. Get ready for Siebel 22 with the most up-to-date modular training course available. Learn more with clear, precise instructor presentations. Team 2 has a mid-level release they want to push to integration test and then incrementally migrate that content to the test database. Learn better with comprehensive exercises and demonstrations. Now the next step to be executed is the business service and we can click simulate next. This executes the business service and we can inspect the output in the workflow process data panel. Learn faster with high quality course materials. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today.